guys, this is Simon Sage from Android Central. We're at GDC 2013, talking with, uh, sorry, what was your name again? Martin. Martin, Martin, about Rim Capsule. It's, uh, it's a new PlayStation certified game that's uh, coming soon to Android. We've got a demo on the Vita, but it's coming to Android, right? Yes. So, what's uh, what's the spiel? What's uh, what's the game about? Uh, the game's called Rim Capsule. It's uh, what I like to call a meditative space strategy game. Uh, it draws from like settlers and dungeon keeper and any like RTS really, but it's, it's very minimalist. So I, I started out with I wanted to make like a strategy game. But I wanted to remove all the fiddly bits. So I just kept removing stuff and removing stuff until I came to this. So you're you're running this little base here in, in space, and these two little white boxes here are your minions that you'll be bossing around. And like your first goal is really to sort of expand your base to to harvest the resources around you. And you've got some starting out resources here, but you're going to have to sort of start producing them yourself. So you, you build your base by dragging the, the rooms you want from up here. And as you'll notice, it's the Tetris type of blocks. And the, let's line up another one here. And so this, this room is called the Extractor. It will sort of harvest from this. It's just like a mineral plant or whatever. You need to actually get your minions to do stuff. You, you assign them different tasks down here. So drag them from the idle there now to construction. And they'll start bringing resources to build the room. And they sort of go by themselves. I can't actually, like, I can't directly affect what they're doing. I can just like, ask them to do different things. And let's line up a few more rooms here. The reactor will give you the blue resource, which is energy. Uh, but it's all, all super abstract. You get blue boxes, which is you're going to need the blue boxes. So it's like blue rooms, yeah. 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 And all the rooms have like a different price. It's very, very tiny font. Uh, and you're going to need gardens to produce food and a kitchen to sort of process the food to make it usable. Right. And you, I, I see weapons there too. Is, is there a military yeah, if we, aspect? If we move it over to this game that's been going on for a while, uh, this is like a slightly bigger base. And these two guys here are ten. You can see there's more tasks down here now. Sure. Better got more rooms. So there's the engineering that will help me like, create the blue resource faster. There's the food service, which is bringing these green little boxes into the kitchen, turning into yellow pyramids. It all makes perfect sense. <laughs> and these guys right now are set to defend. This is red bar here. Once your base goes uh, big enough, the enemies will sort of notice you and come in and try to stop you. And then you've got to go to defense because the, the weapons rooms, uh, they're coupled with passing, so they don't do anything unless they're manned by the minions. So if we let me do the secret demo, fast forward here for a little bit. Now a bunch of enemies spawn somewhere. Somewhere they're around here. Here's one. Oh. Oh, uh -oh. This is not going to end well. But anyway, <laughs> looks like the oh, end of no. missile command. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> oh, that, that, that they, was quick. they fought valiantly. Um, <laughs> so it, it turns into this uh, optimization game where, like, you want to be building your base. And if we move over here again, sorry for going back and forth. Uh, there are these monoliths around you, like left behind by a mysterious previous presence. Ooh. Uh, that you can build your way out to and research them and get upgrades for your base. Okay. And um, so it turns into this like back and forth. Like you want to run out there and research as much as you can. You got to run back, man the guns. Sure, sure. Uh, it's, it's constant race against time, trying to survive in coming waves of enemies. Yeah. Okay. And it's a it's a very slow game. Like a typical round is probably like 40 minutes. Okay. With, like this it's kind of ponderous. That, yeah. That's all right. and it, it accelerates towards the end because the, the enemies come faster and faster and it's more and more. Sure. Uh, but it's a great game for playing like in bed or on a long train ride. Sure. sure. Uh, so uh, this is coming up to PlayStation certified devices. Do you got any kind of time frame or pricing point? I'm hoping for soon, like <laughs> April, April, early April. Okay. It's in QA right now, so I'm hoping it's gonna come back like gold star, awesome work. But probably not. So, but it, it's it's done and it's ready. But I I want to release it very soon. Sure. I, I don't know a date yet. Can you speak at all to the PlayStation certification process? Like, was it a pain for you? Were there certain hurdles that you had to kind of get over? It's pretty cool because I, I get to put a game on this and it's on the Vita and on all the Android stuff too. And it's, 
like making a game for the App Store or for like yeah, Google Play, is it now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's like the same same type of procedure. Obviously, I was approached by Sony and they say, hey, put your game on our thing yeah. because it's brand new. So the, the initially the launch is going to be on PlayStation certified devices or it's going to come to Google Play more broadly after? Or? Yeah, about two months. Two months later, okay. All right, so uh, this is Simon Sage from GDC 2013 for Android Central. We're checking out Rim Capsule with Martin. Thanks a lot, Martin. Uh, no, no, no. Jerry here from Android Central. If your wife won't let you run around naked, grab a kick-ass t-shirt from shopandroid.com.